Hello, Planeswalker. Welcome to One Pack Magic, where we open one pack of magic cards. And we're always a critical hit. Anyway, D&D, Ventures in the Forgotten Realms. I should have did this for the movie that came out. Oh well. Doing it now. I haven't done one of these in a while, believe it or not. I... It's, like, it's like a couple of months. Alright. Speaking of which, the uh, art card is Critical Hit by Francisco Miara. That's a num name combination. And it's a, whoa, yep, that is a Critical Hit right there. Mm. Ah, all right. Shit. Uh, come on. There we go. This should be entertaining. All right, slight technical issue. Now we are back. Maybe, come on. Phone, god damn it, not that far. There we go. Close enough for government work. All right, got ourselves a swamp. As a plague ravages the world above, you've made your way into the underdark in search of a fungal panic. Panic, panacea? Panacea? Panic attack, I don't know, anyway. Got the showcase art for Neverwinter Dryad. Dryad Druid. Uh, <coughs> single green Dryad, 1-1. One, one. Pay two, sacrifice Neverwinter Dryad. Search your library for a basic forge card. Put it on the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Simple enough. It's a more costly uh, evolved wild. Thieves tools. One of the black artifact equipment. When Thieves' Tools enters the battlefield, sac create a treasure token. It's an artifact with tap, sacrifice this artifact, and man of any color. Equipped creature can't be blocked as long as its power is three or less. Equip for two. That's pretty interesting. Horde Robber. Typhling. Hey, yeah, I'm glad the Typhlings are getting their uh, moment in the sun here. One and a black. Typhling Rogue, 1 3. Whenever a Horde Robber deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Ooh, actually, that would be a pretty good combo with uh, these tools. That would that'd be a nasty combination. Hired Hexblade. 1 on a black, Elf Warlock, 2 2. When Hired Hexblade enters the battlefield, if mana from a treasure was spent to cast it, you draw a card and you lose one life. Dungeon Crawler. That's the name of the game. Uh, single Black Zombie. 2-1. Dungeon Crawler enters the battlefield tapped. Whenever you complete a dungeon, you may return Dungeon Crawler from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh, that'd be pretty nasty in a dungeon deck. Death Priest of Mercul. Merkel? Mercul? Merkel? Merkel. It's Merkle Whip. <laughs> there we go. That's that's uh that's, that's gonna be horrible. Two black black typhling color. Two two skeletons, vampires, and zombies you control get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your in step, if a creature died this turn, you may pay one. If you do, create a one one black skeleton creature token. Ooh, that is that is pretty nasty. Power word kill. I think I saw them in concert once. Anyway, one in a black, instant, destroyed target, non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon creature. Well, at least we got that, uh, got that fo figured out. Soul Knife Spy. Two in a blue, elf rogue, three two. Whenever Soul Knife Spy deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Minion of the Mighty. Minion of the Mighty. Single red, kobold, zero one with menace. That's really saying something. Whatever minion of the mighty attacks, if you attacked with creatures with a total power of six or greater this combat, you may put a dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. There you go. Oswald Fiddlebender. 
One and a white, legendary gnome artificer. 2-2, two, two, magical tinkering. Pay one white, tap, sacrifice an artifact, search your library for an artifact card with mana value equal to one plus the sacrificed artifacts and mana value. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Activate it only as a sorcery. And nothing else. Ooh, we got a shiny black dragon. Speaking of dragons. It's a five black black dragon. 4-4, four, four, flying, as you do. Acid Breath, when Black Dragon enters the battlefield, target your creature and opponent controls gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. So it can be a bit more. Boost, uh, Magic Minigame, Booster Blitz. Oh, look at a little fairy dragon. Look at him. Look at him being cute and happy. Anyway, it's a blue fairy dragon. Token creature flying with one, 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 one flyer. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go. Well, let's see what I play. Uh, or what you'd play? I don't know. Maybe put in the comments what you'd play. Um, I do like this, so I probably would. Especially you got a three, you know, someone's a three three or less, you nuke them with that. That's pretty good. Um. That's pretty good. So like I said, if you got a higher art, you know, a better artifact to put out, or you got an artifact you don't need anymore for whatever reason. Otherwise, eh, I mean, I wouldn't really use him as a commander. Maybe a regular character, but other than that, not really. Um, a zero one with menace. If that's not kobold mentality, I don't know what is, but I do like. You know, get a free dragon out of it. So, I, there wasn't as many dragons in uh, Forgotten Realm. I know Baldur's Gate was like, oops, all dragons. So, you know, makes a little more sense. Um, give her something where she can't be blocked. You'd be drawing cards every turn. Couple it with uh, something that every time you draw a card, do something else. I'm sure they're out there. But yeah. Make her unblockable and... Poof. Um, it's a it's a two-drop nuke, you know? Except, you know, those four creatures. So. Um, actually, you know what? I... She would be good for a uh, popper commander. Build the deck around that. Put her out there. All your your little nasties get uh, plus one. Or throw her with uh, mix up with some Innistrad. Hmm. Very sweet. Very nice. Um, like I said, you have to build this. You'd have to build an engine del delve deck, which I probably have way more than enough cards to do that, but. I mean, otherwise, it doesn't work outside of this game, this set. I mean, maybe with the Typhling Cleric, but other than that, not really. Um, eh. I mean, it's, you know, early game, maybe, when you've got enough life to spare. Otherwise, mm, not really. Be useless late game. Um, like I said, combo this. Combo this with this, boom, there you go. That'd be a good combo. Can't be blocked because it's only 1 3. It gets to create a treasure token. So, I, yeah, I guess I do that right there. That's that's a combo. That's, I would play those both of those. Um, eh. I mean, it'd be pretty good, you know, if you don't have early game. Put her first round, drop her second round, sacrifice her to get a forest to put into the battlefield. So you get three. It's all right. Probably. I might. I might. I might not. I don't know. Anyway, that is. Thank you, D-Dragon. Dragon and being good. Uh, that is Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, which I don't know how it's forgotten if everyone knows where it is. If we're doing sets on it, you know, 
It's one of D&D's most popular settings. But, I don't know, maybe this means we'll get, uh, an Erebor set. That'd be cool. Or Spelljammer. Since we're already run through the multi- Since we just ran through the multiverse with March of the Machine. I have a feeling we'll get a Spelljammer set in the future. In any case, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a special day. So if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Find out what tomorrow is. Or you can just go look it up, I don't care. Uh, in, in any case, I will see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.